It's no secret that the Philadelphia Flyers are trading basically everyone, starting a rebuild, and, you know, all that stuff. Daniel Briere came out and said, hey, we're I'm using the word rebuild, we are doing this, and for sure it's been happening with the Kevin Hayes trade earlier today, the Ivan Provorov trade a couple weeks ago now, I believe it was, and there's a lot of interest in defenseman Travis Sanheim that was reportedly going to St. Louis in a blockbuster trade that fell through because of Tory Krug. But is there still interest for Travis Sanheim? We'll get into that in a minute. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you like anything NHL related. News, trades, rumors, live streams we'll try and do as much as possible. And we also do the MLB same criteria. We got you covered here on the channel. Now, talking about Travis Sanheim, there are two teams reportedly besides the Blues that have actually asked Philly about Travis Sanheim. That's, of course, the Winnipeg Jets, who, of their own, are trying to trade the core pieces. Shifley, Pierre-Luc Dubois looks to be traded today or tomorrow by the looks of what everyone is saying. Uh, Blake Wheeler, what's going on with Connor Hellebuck, and all those guys. Now, it makes sense. Travis Sanheim is a pretty younger defenseman. He's 27. Fits kind of where the Winnipeg Jets want their core team to be. And could be a really good addition to that back line for the Winnipeg Jets. We'll get into the numbers and stuff in a minute. Now, the other team, and they've been kind of linked to a lot of defensemen this offseason, is the Toronto Maple Leafs. No surprise, they do need at least one more defenseman if to kind of round out their top six, and Travis Sanheim would be great. Of course, money situation, the Philadelphia Flyers might actually have to retain some, but I don't think it will be as much as people think it would be, but the Toronto Maple Leafs have kicked tires and asked Philadelphia about Sanheim, and this is all reported by David Pegnota from the fourth period. So I kind of looked it in, looked into it, and just in October, so before Daniel Briere took over, the Philadelphia Flyers signed Travis Sanheim to an eight-year deal, or $6.25 million a year. He has a no-trade clause in the first four years of his contract. So the fact that he was going to go to St. Louis means he said, yeah, I'll waive my no-trade clause for that. But he has a modified no trade clause in the final four years of this deal as well. So when I say money is going to be kind of a problem for a lot of teams, it's I don't see Philadelphia retaining 50% as they did in the Kevin Hayes trade for the next three years because Sandheim's deal is eight years long. Yes, the salary cap can go up. I get that. But I don't think the Philadelphia Flyers are retaining 3.125 or whatever it is million dollars for eight years to pay Travis Sanheim to play for the Toronto Maple Leafs, the Winnipeg Jets, wherever he goes. Because it just doesn't make sense. I could see maybe, you know, 10%, which is 625000 uh, you could go even as high as 20%, which is $1.5 I believe it is. My math isn't the greatest right now. Sorry. But you could go that way, and I think the Flyers might be willing to do 20%. But in order for them to do the 20%, you're probably giving up a first. You have to shred some salary cap, and they're looking to rebuild. So they're not going to say for from the Winnipeg Jets, they're not going to want... Mark Shifley, they're not going to want Blake Wheeler. They want the young guys, maybe like Ehlers, or which isn't going to happen because Winnipeg's not going to do that. So for Winnipeg to make the money work, they're going to have to come up with a creative way to do that, and we'll have to wait on the PLD trade to happen. Seems like possibly Iofalo and Velarde are the key pieces going to Winnipeg if that trade goes through. For the Toronto Maple Leafs, you're going to have to give up something, and you could potentially give up a first with, say, a Muzzin or someone, a guy with contract to kind of help the Flyers keep at that salary cap floor, but also help the Maple Leafs out as well. 
So that's something to look into. Sorry, I'm getting stuffed up here. That is something to look into. So the Leafs and the Jets have looked into Canadian defenseman Travis Sanheim. So we look at Travis Sanheim's stats here. I'll just pull that up quickly. I forgot to open up a tab for that. There is a lot to his stats here. And for Travis Sanheim, he had 23 points in 81 games as a defenseman. 7 goals, 16 and 6. He was only a minus 5 on a Philadelphia Flyers team. He has 139 points in 416 games. Only a minus 24. But you look at, I believe it was this year or last year, he had a lot of chances to score. Just couldn't bury it. He was snake bitten for a little bit. I know watching the Oilers-Flyers game, it was, he could have had a hat trick in one of those games. But hey, he's a well-solid defender, 6'3", a little taller, but 181 pounds. So we'll, I'll be interested to see where Sa- Travis Sandham goes. If he does, that's just speculation that teams have asked about him. Like I said, he does have a no-trade clause going for the Philadelphia Flyers on it. This will be his first year of an eight-year deal this upcoming season. So let's keep an eye on that. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm on out of here.